are moving into our third segment for today. As we promised, we've been joined by representatives of Grace Kennedy Belize. And uh, we have with us at this time, Trudy Joseph Suaza, who's the marketing officer. And we have Gilroy Graham, who is the executive chairman. And you guys, uh, thank you for being here. And congratulations on celebrating 35 years in Belize. Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> what has that for 35 been? years too? <laughs> <laughs> for the 35 years and for being here. All right. <laughs> so now, what has that journey been like mm -hmm. in terms of coming to Belize in 1982 and being able to grow with Belize, so to speak? Well, I think um, Mr. G would be better to talk about the previous years and I can jump in mm -hmm. more recent years. Mm -hmm. Well, the... Grace Kennedy's decision to come to Belize actually came out of an invitation from the Right Honorable George Price, who mm -hmm. was the founding uh, father of, of mm -hmm. our nation. He invited um, our then chairman and CEO, Carlton Alexander, to come to Belize and set up a business. Mr. Alexander then asked uh, Rafael Diaz, who actually hails from Benquevejo and was the chief finance officer for Grace Kennedy at the time, yeah. to come to Belize and look at what opportunities exist. And he decided that they wanted to start off with a distribution business, mm -hmm. uh, which would be distributing Grace products in Belize. But in addition to that, Grace Kennedy had started a, a trading relationship with Belize in that Grace was importing red kidney beans, fish, shrimp, mm -hmm. and a number of other produce from, from Belize. So. The establishment of Grace Kennedy Belize would have enabled Grace Kennedy to distribute its products and also establish a foothold in Belize to assist in the sourcing and export of products to, to Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. Now, it's, it's great to have you guys on today because we started off the conversation this morning looking at uh, our relationship with CARICOM mm -hmm. and also focusing on CSME and uh, it was uh, uh, highlight of that conversation talking about the uh, Caribbean community being uh, the third largest export market for Belize. Now very often people uh, don't make connections mm -hmm. between Grace Kennedy and its uh, representation in the Caribbean and also how you have adopted as well Belizean products under your brand. So let's let's talk about the expansion that you have been able to include over the years especially of Belizean products. right? Um, I think first it's understanding that because our parent company is actually in Jamaica and it's not just us being here in Belize, we also have subsidiaries throughout the world. Yeah. It makes it so much easier because even when you talk about people movement, we're not even talking about products. Yeah. When you talk about people movement, there are so many opportunities. And so for us, it's not just a piece of paper. Yeah. There are so many ways where we actually see it happen. I mean, Mr. Graham, as a Belizean, being able to move to Jamaica for so many years, yeah. our previous general manager, um, Alberta Young, being able to move to the United States and there are other opportunities for all of us that work as a part of Grace Kennedy Belize Limited to be able to go to other countries and when we talk about the products we have um, like the Grace Habanero Pepper Sauce which is a product of Belize we also have the Grace Vinegar um, the Dollar Juice um, also the bleach the springtime. springtime bleach is produced right here in Belize yeah. And so we continue to work with Belizean manufacturers in order for us to make sure that we get the quality and the consistency mm -hmm. um, that it is that we need to be under the Grace umbrella. Yeah. So um, those are the great opportunities and we continue to explore those options. One of the things that struck me <clears throat> as interesting uh, the other day when I attended the event uh, held by the company is the fact that there are so many Belizean products Mm -hmm. that are the under brand. the Grace brand in the local market that you wouldn't have thought mm -hmm. that, whoa, that was made in Belize. It just fits in seamlessly with all the other product lines that are being put out there. Right. That it's yeah. difficult to remember that it's actually <laughs> made in Belize. In yeah. yes. And it's part of our philosophy. Wherever we go, uh, we try to partner with local manufacturers uh, in whichever country we, we are operating to source products from those, those countries, not only for distribution within the country where um, we are operating, but also where there are opportunities for us to export those, those products. And so one of the things that we're doing right now is that we're looking, we're having discussions with a number of other local manufacturers in terms of producing products 
here in Belize for export to Jamaica and other parts of the, the Caribbean. And also within the Central American region. So we're not just limiting ourselves to, yeah. to, to CARICOM. Is but wherever the opportunities exist. And, and that's key. Export opportunities, you look beyond CARICOM. But mm -hmm. are you still trying to keep a focus of exclusively Caribbean products? Not necessarily. Okay. And, and why I say that is because when you look at Belize mm -hmm. and you look at the ethnic makeup mm -hmm. uh, and you look at the, the, the cuisines that we have in Belize, it's a melting pot of different, different cuisines and not all of it is Caribbean. There is a rich, I would say, Hispanic Latin mm -hmm. influence. And so where we can take that to Central America, the US, we will. Let me share with you, um, in 2014, we acquired a business in the US by the name of La Fe. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we acquired that business was twofold. One was that we wanted to establish a business, a foothold in the US to distribute the Grace brands to Caribbean people across the US. Mm -hmm. That's one. Prior to that, we went through a distributor. We wanted to be able to control our route to market. Mm -hmm. The second reason is, when we analyzed the U.S. market, we saw the Hispanic market as the fastest growing segment of that market. Mm -hmm. And so we decided that we wanted to target that market. Uh -huh. But it wouldn't have been appropriate for us to go after that market with a Grace brand. Mm -hmm. We wanted a Hispanic brand. Mm -hmm. So when we acquired La Fe, we acquired the La Fe brand also, which is a brand that we are using yeah. to target that market. That puts us in a very good position now to develop products here in Belize under the La Fe brand that would be ideal for that market. Mm. So it's one of the things that we're also looking at. Yeah. Now, how do you identify products within country that meet your standard uh, to be able to add to your distribution line? You <laughs> well, well our, our, our approach is, is what we call a market-led uh -huh. approach. And, and I have to emphasize this because prior, prior to now, it used to be uh, a production-led approach. Yeah. In other words, we produce a product, and then you go and look for a market. But yeah. we have learned that that <laughs> is not the proper yeah. way. So what we do, we go to market, and we engage yeah. consumers. We try to identify what are the needs, what are the, 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 the unmet needs yeah. that, that, that they have. And then coming out of that engagement, we then try to develop products to satisfy and to meet mm. those needs. Okay. Uh, and that is so what you will try to identify manufacturer, manufacturers or persons who are interested in manufacturing now. Well, we would start with the consumer. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if the consumer is not interested yeah. in the product, then yeah, sorry. It, you mm -hmm. won't be able no, to no, sell No, no, I mean, once you've so identified... So once we have the, identified, the, the, yeah. then we then have to determine where we're going to source the product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Can we source it in-country? Or do we have to go elsewhere to source it? Of course, we have to take into consideration the costs and make sure that we are competitive and quality, quality. right? And we have very, very big and food safety standards. Yes. All of our plants are certified, internationally certified. Yeah. Or if we are using a third party plant, then we have to make sure that it is certified, which yeah. becomes a challenge sometimes because when you're trying to work with small manufacturers, yeah. they are not always up to standard. So what we would do is, wherever possible, we try and work with them to bring them up to standards so mm -hmm. that they can manufacture for us. If they're not quite there, then we may have to back off and wait until we can bring them up <laughs> to standards. Speak to us a bit about the relationship between the company and the local farmers. I know that that was one of the areas of, of focus for you guys to be able to foster that relationship with the small man in the fields, wanting to get uh, the product from the field to the shelves. Again here, Mr. G, I really feel that the, those questions are better responded to mm -hmm. by... <laughs> Truly, I, I know that you can respond. <laughs> I if said you, better, if you will to better me. responded. <laughs> Again, I go back to the relationship that we have had mm -hmm. even prior to the establishment of Grace Kennedy Belize in 1982. Grace have always maintained a very strong relationship with farming community, with the fishing, fishing yeah. communities. 
So for red kidney beans, you could go into any of the communities where red kidney beans is, 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 is produced. Mm -hmm. And you speak to farmers and you mention Grace Kennedy and all of them are very, very, very well aware of Grace Kennedy and the relationship. They know that Grace Kennedy pays. Mm -hmm. We pay on time. So we have, we have, I mean, I can come here and I can say. Fundamentals, we have a, right? We have a good, good reputation. Yeah. We have a very good reputation with, with the farmers. They know that when we say that we're going to do something, which is part of our whole value system, yeah. Yeah. that we're going to do it. Our word is it's our, our bond, yeah. right? Um, there are three things that we hold very, very close to us, and that is honesty, integrity, and trust. We believe that the reason why Grace Kennedy, our parent company, is around for 95 years, to a very large extent, is because of those values, which we don't yeah. just speak about, yes. but we live. The same thing with Grace Kennedy Belize. 35 years, and we live those <laughs> values every day. Now, Gilroy, tell us about the growth or the, the, the support that you've seen in Belize for Grace products. You, you mentioned the invitation that took place, uh, and uh, you said it started off with some of the basic essentials that were used to the red kidney. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, our palate has diversified very much since then. Right. Uh, we're talking about flavored coffees. We have wine selections. Uh, how do you uh, explain to me the expansion and then just how you start to recognize that a product will do well in uh, Belize sure. or in any country that you're going to, to bring in a new product? Certainly. So over time, as I had said earlier, we would engage consumers yeah. to find out what it is that they're looking for. Yeah. The, the Grace brand, we put a lot of support behind the brand in terms of advertising and, and promotion. We did, a, we did a study a few years back to look at the, the strength of the brand, the equity. And what we found out was that the equity that existed in Belize was similar to the equity that exists in Jamaica. And in Jamaica, the Grace brand is extremely strong. It's the number one brand. Mm -hmm. And we saw the same thing here. Mm -hmm. One of the things I remember in going around and visiting with our customers and, and, and we engage our customers also about what new products we could um, introduce. And they would say to us, well, look at this product, look at that product, but make sure you put it under the Grace brand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? They would tell us, you want it to sell? Yeah. It has to be under the, under the Grace brand. So we, we continued to expand. So we started out actually with Vienna sausages and, mm -hmm. and um, our ketchup. Well, um, I was going to say, I still remember that Grace. We were flashing yeah. back that Grace <laughs> Kennedy ketchup yeah. uh, commercial. That's yeah. part yeah. of our childhood. Trying to grace <laughs> tomato with the ketchup. Yeah. Right. yeah, of course. Right. So the ketchup, the Vienna sausages, our corned beef, our mackerel. Mm -hmm. Over the years, we have expanded and we have included the coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the habanero pepper milk. sauce we spoke about. Mm -hmm. We have milk, a range of milk. I remember when we started with milk, most persons said, we don't know Grace to be a, a company yeah, that, that People that are used to a particular brand right. already. But no, it's a mainstay, yeah. right? We even have now our Grace salad cream. Mm -hmm. uh, in Jamaica, that salad cream and the pepper sauce, those are two must-have for me, mm -hmm. yeah. because you know, being a Belize and every Sunday, yeah. you must have your, um, potato your, salad. Potato, your rice salad. and beans, chicken and your salad. <laughs> and you can't make salad if you don't have the right salad yeah. cream. We don't yeah. want salad we make with you know, other <laughs> anything things. Else. Yeah, it's anything else. <laughs> right. But those are products, as I said, as we went about and we engage consumers and we do formal um, interfacing with the consumers to yeah. get the feedback. And as we get the information, then there is a process that we go through in developing those products. Mm -hmm. We work, Belize work very closely mm -hmm. with Jamaica where we have an innovation unit mm -hmm. that actually work on developing the products, developing the packaging, mm -hmm. uh, work on how you're going to launch the product, how you're going to promote it and that sort. Yeah. No, while Because so, uh, actually yeah. I wanted to mention that not all products we have here in Belize is actually developed outside of Belize. Mm -hmm. There are um, products too that we have developed here yeah. as a part of our new product development. And so that is why sometimes Marlene said she just like to visit with us and see, <laughs> you know how it is that, that we sit, room. yes, we sit together and you come up with ideas and you never know what it is that, you know, we can do. And maybe we might try a product one time, it doesn't work so well, we don't just give up. Yeah. Again, why we engage our consumers. How, how 
open our manufacturers uh, to tweak their products to what you know is best for the market. Because that's, that's also one of the things I would imagine would be very hard. If I have a product that I've been making and everybody loves, let's say it's a pepper sauce, right? Mm -hmm. And I make a nice hot pepper sauce that people love. And you want to take that under your grace line, but you also know that mm -hmm. not the entire market is going to appreciate so much heat. How open are manufacturers, or how do you overcome that particular area in, in making sure it's market ready? Not just a good product already, but taking it to the next level. Take that one, Julie. Working, yeah. on, <laughs> working on formulations. Again, yeah. we want to make sure what we have in Belize is for Belizeans, yeah. understanding that we are a melting pot. And so we work with our manufacturers for the taste profile that we want, for the consistency that we want, um, sweeter, not so sweet, um, firmer. We work with our manufacturers, so it's not just rebranding a product, um, yeah. especially coming from like Jamaica, where we have factories that produce for the Jamaican market that a lot of us here in Belize love that taste. Yeah. But those, those factories are owned by Grace, by Grace Kennedy, and so we benefit from whenever we need to make a little change, you know, we can then work with the factories to be able to do that. And it's the same thing like with third party um, manufacturers, that it is that we can work with them for what it is that we need, taking cost, of course, into consideration and the size of our market. <laughs> Sometimes it is that we want to do certain things, but because we don't have a huge market. And they say for the few we boxes that are going to Belize now. Exactly. <laughs> no. it's, a, it's a challenge. It, it's yeah, a challenge. Yes. that's true. There's been great emphasis on marketing the brand mm -hmm. and putting products on the shelf. But one of the things that fascinates me is the work that you guys do in terms of corporate social yep. responsibility. Being able to assist in areas of education and sports and other areas of building the Belizean society. Talk to us a bit about that. Well, that comes again from our parent company. Giving back from whence you came is very, very important, um, which is a part of the reason that I believe that the Grace family, which is where we work, we spend so much time there, um, even outside of what is normal working hours. You feel great to know that you're not just there and it's not just about the money that is coming in, but giving back. Because even um, with our Grace We Care Club, we have had events and activities where staff is the one that is at the forefront. Yeah. It's not just, okay, Grace Kennedy is going to offer $1,000 to the Belize Cancer Society. No staff then participates. We're going to have a casual day at work and staff pays to come in a different type of casual. And so it's very engaging for us because we know that as Belizeans, we want to see the work that we do in the lives of children, like in yeah. working with young Salvation kids, Army. Salvation Army. Um, we started with working with some children at Salvation Army. We started with them in Standard 4. We're waiting for graduation. And when we talk to them, it's amazing to know that they appreciate the work that the staff puts in because it's not just the management team, yeah. the entire staff to be able to give them what it is that they need. And so seeing the smile on their face, we had two of them that were a part of the video that we did. It's, it's really knowing that we work for a company that is socially responsible. And in the end, you can then continue to grow and people don't mind when we tell them, go out there and look for the Grace brand, that they know that yeah. we do give back. Like your promotions that are tied into uh, also <coughs> contributing mm -hmm. to other organizations. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's say uh, you've made this milestone 35 years. Congratulations on that. And like anything else, we celebrate for what we have achieved. But most importantly, you got to be able to set markers for the future. So what is uh, the, the particular direction that people can expect from Grace Kennedy after turning 35? Let me speak more about the marketing aspect, and I'm sure Mr. G will talk about the, the products. Um, Marketing-wise, again, we've realized a shift. A lot of people now carry their cell phones or, um, around with them, and so what we try to do in promotions, we make it ready that you can just take out your phone and take a picture, or it is that um, we can do label redemption, but utilizing your phone. Yeah. We want to expand to go into like barcodes, where again, it's not looking for a center for you to drop off a label. Yeah. It is for you to just utilize your phone and be able to do that. Um, we also want to make sure that people know they can come to us. And so like our Grace Facebook, um, Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, let us know how you feel. Mm -hmm. And people have been able to do that. Um, we do a lot of sampling. Again, we make our sampling innovative. 
people talk about even the Grace and You cooking show, which we've done um, with you guys for over six years. Again, with that, um, just the last show we had last week mm -hmm. was like, wow, this was a great show. And so we love the feedback. We want to continue. Those who are interested in being a part of that show, feel free to contact us. Yeah. Um, we talk about the culture. Again, we've had you know the Asian culture, the Garifuna culture, very strong. Um, we want to make sure we're putting the Indian culture, all of that. And so from us, we want you to know that we are Belizeans and we want to make sure that we un encompass what Belize stands for. Even when we go to Jamaica, yeah. we make sure they know that Grace Kennedy Belize Limited is doing great things here as a part of a great organization celebrating 95 years there, but 35, 35 years, yeah, we've done our contributions. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of um, the products, one of the things that, that we look at is that Grace Kennedy, for us to continue to grow and be around for another 35 years, we must remain relevant. Mm -hmm. Which means that the products that we put out must be relevant to consumers. Mm -hmm. One of the growing trends is, is consumers are becoming more and more health conscious, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so we recognize that there is a need for us to move more and more in that direction. So some of the things, and I know that there have been a lot of talk in Belize yeah. about looking at some of the non-communicable diseases and mm -hmm. what are some of the contributors to that high level of salt, sugar, yeah. fat, and what have you. We are looking seriously yeah. at those in terms of how we now adjust our formulation in reducing the levels of those. I'm glad you pointed that out. That was one of the things I wanted to mention, that we've seen that, that you have low yeah. sodium low salt, options right. and sugar-free options, yeah. right. which okay. is definitely keeping with the trend, but also what's necessary and also exactly. responsible for so, that as a company. So exactly, and it's yeah. also part of our social responsibility. Yeah. So one, we will go through the process of renovating the existing products to try and make those as healthy as possible. But as we now expand and roll out new products, it's part of our responsibility to, to try and ensure that those products also yeah. meet the needs of consumers as far as the health requirements are, are concerned. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue to grow, we'll continue to expand. But I think most importantly, what we will be focusing on is our people. Because as I had said before, nothing happens mm -hmm. unless you have the right people with the right skills, of course with the right attitude mm -hmm. in the right place. And so we will be focusing in a big way on developing our people. I want to say shout out also <laughs> to the Grace the Grace family. Yes. Yeah. Right? We yeah. have we have we have an excellent team at yeah. Grace Kennedy Belize. Uh, it's the best Grace Kennedy subsidiary team in the world. Wow. Right? I, I want to big them up, yeah. congratulate them on, on, on the work they have been doing and I want to encourage them to continue to work oh. hard. Well, fantastic. And we have been enjoying Grace products for a very long time. <laughs> very frequently here on this show as well. <laughs> we get to, to sample, maybe not first, because the team gets to do it first. We get to sample very early on. And we appreciate you being here, kind of just to share uh, what your vision is from this point forward. Thank you once again, and congratulations. You're welcome. Very, very happy much. to be here. All right. We're going to go ahead and take that final break now. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up. So stay tuned.